when the course is laid and the anchors weighed, a sailor's blood begins racing. With our hearts unbound and our flag unfurled, we're underway and ought to see the world. Underway and ought to see the world. Hey ho, we'll go anywhere the wind is blowing. Manly men are we. Sailing for adventure on the deep blue sea. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. Marriage, that blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. It is my country that is under attack. Your so-called piratas, your pirates, attack our merchant ships daily, and you, what, you, you think we don't know where the orders come from? The whole world knows these pirates sail up the Thames all the way to your royal bed. You will leave my presence, sir. Go back to your rat hole. Tell Philip, I fear neither him, nor his priests, nor his armies. Tell him, if he wants to shake his little fist at us, we're ready to give him such a bite he'll wish he'd kept his hands in his pockets. You see a leaf fall, and you think you know which way the wind blows. Well, there is a wind coming, madam, that will sweep away your pride. On the 13th of December, 1577, a flotilla of five ships set sail from Plymouth, England. The fleet included the Marigold, the Swan, the Elizabeth, the Benedict and the Pelican, later to be renamed the Golden Hind. It was to be an epic voyage which changed history and put England on the map as a seafaring nation. The fleet was under the command of Francis Drake, later to become a national hero and England's most famous sea captain. He became the first Englishman to sail the world. On the way, he captured more Spanish treasure than any other privateer in history, making himself and his crew among the richest men in England. The voyage took the fleet along the Spanish coast, across the Atlantic Ocean, to the Southern Americas, the Straits of Magellan and Cape Horn. The Golden Hind was the fleet's only ship to make it to the Pacific Ocean, and the first English ship to do so. Along the coast, Drake stopped to repair his ship. He claimed the land for Queen Elizabeth I of England. Today, it's known as California. <laughs> 